This is the last CCT explanation video about um, basically preparing the very last part of your assignment as far as the rubric is concerned. And one of the things I've noticed throughout the semester is that students really need to use, there's two things that students aren't making good use of that they should, really should be. The first one is making sure that whatever the teacher comments on, you're using that advice to change your assignment because basically it's a heads up saying, yeah, you're not quite meeting your expectation and here's what you need to do in order to make sure that you do meet expectations. So if you read it and you don't follow that advice, you're pretty much staying at the same level as when you handed your, your information in during the formative process. And that's the whole reason why we have formative process to make sure that we move forward. So um, that's the first one. The second one is making sure that you're using your rubric when you are completing your assignment. So we look at it when we start doing our assignment. You should probably look at it again halfway through to make sure that you're on track and, and see what you need to do next. And then the last time is when you think you're finished your project or very close, go through your rubric and make sure that you are meeting the requirements um, for level three qualifier. So going through, make sure you have enough facts, that you have demonstrated your examples considerably well, um, or if you're looking for a level four, it would be highly effective or thorough. And again, like a lot of people are missing these parts of the rubric, and then I have to hand back your assignment and ask you to fix it. So here we are on our Moodle. Here's the CCT resources. Uh, here's a couple of things that you can't see right now that are there for your exam. Um, but all of these things are here, and all of their videos are here previously. Now, here's the rubric. So if you have lost it um, from the main package, it is on a separate sheet here, and I'm just going to pull it up. And one thing I want you to make a change to is level four. I think I had uh, plus 10 facts. It really should be plus 12 because over in the level three category, we talked about 10 to 12. So obviously level four must be more than 12 facts. So I uh, use the CCT sheet uh, to prepare. Make sure you use the assignment preparation sheet to check all the steps are met. So that's when I handed out very early on in the semester. Use this rubric to check your work and complete all of your formative work, your checkpoints and your CCT booklet, and you should be golden. So for knowledge and understanding, here's what we need to be doing for level three. So includes 10 to 12 facts or specific examples supporting the region uh, issue of study and connection to Canada. So throughout your whole CCT, I should find 10 to 12 facts. You did a really good job on your campaign of being able to find facts. So specific dates, um, counts on things, percentages, numbers. Uh, Nation Master is a really great website where you could probably find a lot of your information. So make sure to actually go through and count how many facts you have. If you want a level four, you're looking at more than 12 facts. So lots of information. You're starting to become a real expert on your area. So very easy to attain this mark. Application section. So application of the theme of sustainability or social justice for the issue. So how well do you do with being able to take um, you know, malaria or overpopulation or malnutrition and somehow connect it with either sustainability or social justice. So for our level three, connects the issue to the chosen theme with considerable effectiveness. This means that we have multiple sentences here to explain, right? So short paragraphs would be appropriate for your poster board. We looked at some today that had really long paragraphs. We don't want full pages glued on, but small paragraphs would be good. Uh, for considerable effectiveness. One sentence is not enough to earn you 70% uh, in this course, and I think that that has long since been established. Okay, thinking and inquiry. So how Canada connects to the issue is impacted or is helping or hindering. So again, we've already done some research on this. How is Canada either sending people there or involved in an organization or sending money? Again, with considerable effectiveness, you're able to connect Canada with that issue. So, and your last couple of marks here are related directly to your presentation. So I think that you have all of the pieces here to do really, really well because I think you understood, you know, doing a poster board today. So here's some of the things that you told me about before. So poster board has three organized panels that has subtitles and captions and those elements that we talked about today. Short paragraphs, but not too short. Remember, they're not in point form. We still want to have paragraphs many appropriate visuals to complement the text. So we need to know why those pictures are there, what kind of maps might be included, why that map is there. It's not just an outline of something with no labels. Um, make sure you put appropriate captions, right? So for level three, poster board is organized and presented with considerable effectiveness. I think based on the examples of what you saw today, you should be able to hit level four.
because you saw some really great examples and were able to contrast them with some that maybe needed a bit more help. So go back to looking at those qualifiers that we had written on the board today when you're preparing your presentation and make sure you have all those good elements. Okay, and the last one is the game or the simulation. Um, what is the quality of it? Is it engaging? Is it fun? Is it appropriate? And it has to be about learning. So it's not just, um, you know, we're playing X's and O's, but it has nothing to do with your particular project. So it absolutely has to do with teaching your material. So game is considerably effective learning. So if you're doing like a, um, a Jeopardy game, you might fall into this category. If you try something a bit different that's really effective, um, maybe quite creative as well, then you're starting to hit the level four category. Okay, so thinking about how many questions you might need to come up with, what types of questions, how you're going to teach that material in a fun way, super, super important. So make sure that once you've got your presentation together, you go over this rubric again and make sure that absolutely nothing is missing and you'll be well on your way.